Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to personalize Oracle Fusion Cloud homepage. So let me uh, get into the Fusion environment. So whenever uh, you open the uh, Fusion environment, so this is your uh, landing page. And uh, so this is where you select your uh, concerned uh, ERP. So here we have something called theme so by default uh, the theme will be blank so let me first show you like if you do not select any theme how the fusion cloud uh, page looks like so this is the uh, default uh, theme i mean like if you do not select anything this is how your home page looks like uh, here you have uh, different uh, tabs and here you have different uh, icons so this is your springboard so these icons or these tabs depends on the roles which are assigned to your uh, user this being a testing environment i have access to a lot of different uh, roles so that's the reason why i you can see a lot of uh, tabs here and uh, uh, if you go to any of these tabs then you'll be able to see the concerned functions under those uh, tabs and uh, let me just go to the home page yeah. And if you want to hide any of these uh, icons, then uh, you can click on this plus. So when you click on plus button, you will be able to see an option wherein you can hide a couple of these uh, functions. So let me just uh, cancel this. So let's assume that under sales, if you want to hide sales workspace, so you can click on plus and check this checkbox save and close and now you can see the workspace is uh, hidden again remember whatever you're doing is only within this particular uh, springboard so but uh, all these uh, functions will be still available under your uh, navigator and this is where you can see your uh, things to finish or uh, to-do list this is your news feed and this is where you can see the info lets so this is the default uh, home page. Now, let me select one theme and then show you how the home page looks like. So let me select a theme. Uh, there are a lot of theme themes here. So if you want, you can uh, create your own themes and uh, that can be assigned here. So let me select uh, HCM vision. Okay, so this is how the home page looks like if you change the uh, theme. So this is be your uh, springboard. And again, as I mentioned, the springboard, uh, the icons in the springboard depends on the uh, roles which are assigned to your user. And uh, as far as the infolets are concerned, you can see the infolets here, your general accounting infolets, user defined in infolets and uh, order to cash uh, infolets. So let me go here. So these are all the different info lets. Now let me go back to my home page and say, let me click on uh, payables. And then again, just the uh, uh, invoice screen, when I click on invoices, it will take you to the invoice screen. So just the look and feel would be different if you change the team, but otherwise uh, your other functionality will be same. And now if I want to, uh, change this particular uh, springboard that is like edit uh, the spring springboard so i can click on this settings and maybe check or uncheck uh, uh, these check boxes say maybe under sales i'll uncheck activities click on okay and now if i click on sales i'll not be able to see that uh, uh, i think it's still showing so let me just maybe refresh See, now I'm, I'm not able to see the activities. I was able to see uh, the activities uh, function or option earlier, but now I'm not able to see because I have uh, disabled that under uh, my uh, settings. And all other things uh, remain same. This is your favorites. This is your work list. This is your notifications. And uh, this is where you can uh, 
go to your uh, setup and maintenance and go for uh, different uh, tasks. So this remains the same. So this is how you make a, a simple change on your uh, theme and then it changes the look and feel. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video. For interesting videos on RFE Financials, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.